Okay, yeah, he's going to stream. So on Dan's channel? Yeah. Do we watch Dan's? I watch Dan's, and it's broadcast live to that, right? Yeah. D. Hertzler. So we're live right now with the uh, just that game of the century little graphic up. Cool. Hopefully everybody starts coming in. Get ready for the game of the century. This is a can't miss show. Yeah, this should be uh, it should be pretty good. I'm excited. I guess I've got to see two teams that don't usually play each other. So. Yeah, I'm not gonna put out any one-liners or anything yet since people aren't here yet. But uh, this one's got a lot and a little going for it. Yeah. As I still don't have Dan's stream. Yeah, I'm still waiting for it. It's <laughs> still not up. I guess I can pull up. Uh, you're on the SML page, right? The group me. Nah, uh, the stream. Oh, yeah. No, I have. Okay. That's what I'm streaming. I'll pull that up so I can keep track of the chat and everything. All right. Yeah, I've got the chat pulled up too. Mute it. Got it there. Cool. Okay. Dan is now live. Uh, he doesn't have. Looks like him and, uh, him and Prime haven't started yet. He's actually just going through his stuff right now. So we'll. Leave the game hidden until he's done with that. But so we're just waiting on them. I think we both had uh, Dan win this game, right? Yeah, we both took Dan. Uh, I just don't. Just watching Prime, I don't think his uh, his defense has quite caught up. It seems like he's having. Is it okay if I uh, change my pick in about the fourth quarter? Yeah, of course. <laughs> just kind of play it play it by ear yeah we can change it whenever we want as a matter of fact <laughs> we're not locked into anything uh shit it, i mean we, we kind of are since it's published on the internet but yeah i suppose technically but uh it could be like a deep fake you don't know if that's that's really us anyway yeah uh, that is true to, to be fair i did not have video up so i'm kind of in the that's clear right. you superimposed your voice on top of a uh, heat check yeah. Without my consent, by the way. That's right. All right. So oh, man, Prime we're in the loading joined. screen. It's, yeah, Prime, it's almost game time. I've just joined, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, as soon as they both ready up, we'll jump into that. My voice level's coming through okay? Yeah, it looks like it's still plenty good. Cool. I'll even, I'll even bump it up a little bit. There we go. Game of the century. Yep. Hope everybody's in the chat getting ready to see this thing. Got showing three viewers, which is not what I want to see. Oh yeah, I'm not even seeing the viewers because I don't have my uh I don't have the SML stream chat connected. Up to four. To All right. Uh, I got a new nickname, Mr. Five Hundred. Let's let's go. Yeah, I figured that would be a good one for you. <laughs> Now, do you want to welcome everybody in, get this going, or what do you want to do yeah, there, bro? So, uh, so welcome to the stream, everyone. Uh, we got the game of the century. I don't know if it's quite going to live up to that billing, but uh, I'm here with uh, Mike FML, and it's going to be Dan taking on the goat. What do you think? Uh, yeah, we're look, looking uh, looking forward to seeing this one. I was saying in the pregame to you, this game's got both a lot and a little on the line because the regular season game, there's not much that's going to really impact everything. But the winner here gets 12 weeks of bragging rights, which is an eternity in this situation. Oh, absolutely. And the two of them have already done plenty of talking coming into this game. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited to see how this shakes out. Very much looking forward to it. We got Rowan in the chat. Let's get everybody up in here. Paying attention, rooting on your favorite. All right. So uh, looks like Dan kicked off and uh, Prime's going to start with the ball. So let's we'll see if Prime uh, 
starts using DK Metcalf right off the bat. Yeah, Prime's got to figure out how to not only incorporate DK, but also not lose the rest of his offense. It seems like he's focusing too much right now. Yeah, I have a feeling Dan's going to be looking to take away Metcalf early. And that's going to be Taylor right up the middle. That's a first down. It's a good start for Prime. Yep, there's the key to any sort of good defense is you just got to establish the run game and keep at it. If Prime can get Taylor going and keep him going, that's going to be a big thing in Prime's favor. Yeah, he had a big game last week against the Redskins or uh, Washington football team, whatever. Um, yeah, the uh, the Washington football team owner mentioned that it was like playing every great halfback at the same time in one person, which is yep, saying Here he goes again. Another big run. That's going to get him about seven yards. There you go. And uh, the interesting thing is there is Dan had his nickel form in with his cheese backer, um, uh, Devin McCordy in there. So he's playing down a little bit, yep. making it a little easier to run on. He does have that big uh, big rookie defensive lineman he drafted. I'm excited to see how that guy does. And so far, two plays and one first down. Prime's on a, a good schedule right now. Yeah, I think he's more than happy with the way this has started. All right, Dan's having a little trouble picking a play, but he's going to go with the old 3-3-5. Three, three, yeah, Dan's in his uh, poly playbook right now, taking it down to the wire. All right, and we're going to see our first Shout pass. Out to <laughs> this time it goes to Taylor. Coach Polly and the truth. So, so far we've seen a heavy dose of Taylor and not really anything from Metcalf. Yeah, he's playing it safe. You can tell that he's uh, a little nervous, wanting to do the right thing. Every play he's been is a high percentage play so far, and that's just working at, at, at this present time. Dan's got to adjust. All right. I keep waiting to see our first uh, DK Metcalf sighting. Still nothing. So. And you know, pregame, uh, you know, Prime was talking to us in the Primer chat, and he said he's gonna he's been working on DK getting deep. So maybe just waiting for the right look. Yeah, I think at, at some point he's gonna take a shot, but he goes with Taylor again. I think he's, unfortunately uh, that one did not work out. <laughs> yeah, I think he's. I think he knows that Dan's going to try and take away Metcalf right off the bat. And I think he's taking advantage of that. Well, you've got extensive history with uh, Prime Time here, Bomber. What is the key to beating Prime? Honestly, what I've what I've done the games that I've played him is try to take away Taylor right off the bat and make him throw the ball. Now that worked, you know, seasons one and two because he had uh, Eason the first season and then the rookie hadn't developed yet. So if you can force him to throw, he's still got some growing pains with the quarterbacks and an opportunity for mistakes. Taylor's not. As we saw a big throw right there. <laughs> That's the, the prime special there. Any sort of crosser with a little bit of a rollout to it, yep. it, it's pretty much the best play he's known for. Right, he's going to get hit. Just gets it off, though. Second and ten. If Dan can hold him to three here, I think he'll uh, he'll think that is a win. Shoot, I mean, you you know all about you and Dan playing low scoring games. So oh yeah, it's one of those things where it's not what you expect, but he'll he'll certainly take it. Yeah, sometimes I feel like I just get into games, and that was one of them where just neither one of us could get anything going. Yeah, that's playing safe. You know it is big game. Nobody yep. wants to lose. What do we nice think stuff. about that front there? What do we think about Dan's play call? I, I think he's going to have trouble if he keeps doing that. Uh, Taylor's got superstar abilities. He's got jukebox and something else. So I, I think Prime would be more than happy to run him all day. Yeah, I don't know if Prime is the guy that you want to call nickel 335 against the run with because he's not as much the outside runner. He's going to take it right up the middle. And his offensive line is pretty good. I mean, you can see right there uh, he's got an ability on an offensive lineman. So... That would be big Q, Quentin Nelson. Yeah, so he will take those uh, those looks from the defense. There he goes, another throw to the running back. So we still still haven't seen DK Metcalf. Might not see him all game if this is how effective it's going to be. Yeah, there's no reason to to risk it with him. He can't stop this. He'll be the Swiss Army knife in the back pocket, ready to go at any time. But right now, Dan's in trouble. And here's the play action. He's going to have to come get it, George. George tiptoes down the sideline, gets down to the eight. 
Dan was a little bit non-committal there. I'm, I'm a little surprised to see Dan make a good read in taking the rushing player off of the rush. But then he just never went after the quarterback. Yeah, usually in that play, I end up sending the corner and get burnt when he tosses it over his head. But there's Taylor stumbles, and then he's in. So There's Madden for you. Yeah, no DK Metcalf, but we were still able to, uh, or Prime was still able to get a touchdown there. Oh, and it looks like Dan's stream is frozen. Are we having tactical difficulties. What's going on here? Yeah, we just had uh, the, the Vikings and the Bears disconnected earlier today. Looks like uh, we're all right, though. Now we're back. Let me try to... Okay. Our stream's not good from what I'm seeing here. You said our stream's not good? Yeah, okay, it's back now. Okay. Got yeah. locked up on my side. There was probably a slight delay from, from their stream coming back to when we get it. Gotcha. Back. Well, obviously Dan needs seven points here, right? <laughs> yeah, I think just from watching Prime's games earlier this season, you've got to keep pace with him. Uh, if anything, he may not have the defense he does normally, but his offense has been putting up a lot of points. What a uncharacteristic play. All right, here we go. Let's see what Dan's going to do. And he's going to drop back to pass right off the bat. And it's picked off. And just like that, Prime's got the ball back at the 37-yard line, ready to score again. Yeah, that was a... In I, I'm simply shocked to see that from Dan. You don't expect such a mistake early, especially when everybody saw that read coming, and I'm amazed that he threw it. Yeah, I would have thought he'd, he'd try to establish the run, too, and kind of we'd, we'd see a little back and forth of the running backs, but he, he got a little greedy, and it cost him. We've seen this before, though. Dan just won a Super Bowl where he got behind big early and fixed things in the second half, so this one's definitely not over yet, but that is not what you want to see if you are uh, the defending champions. No, no, it's not what you want to see, but Dan, if, if anybody in the SML is able to make adjustments and, and kind of right the ship, it's going to be Dan. And the only problem is he's going to have a tough time doing it against Prime. Oh, yeah. We'll see what pays off here. Still moving the ball. Other than, I think, one run play, I don't think he's had anything that, that hasn't been a good play. Yeah, Dan's not getting close to stopping him. Prime's uh, making the right calls, and uh, the only time he's ineffective is when he gets some pressure on him. He's got a little pressure here. He's going to force George to roll out, but he throws it away. Yeah, it was a similar play call. We've seen Dan kind of rely on a couple different plays primarily so far this game, and it's not really working. It might be time to shake it up a little bit. Yeah, he's, he seems to be blitzing the corner a lot, and he's getting yeah. a little bit of pressure, but... For all the studying Dan did, he's really getting gouged by the uh, halfback base inside zone plays, and that's yeah. what Prime's known for. I don't know what's going on right now. And that's just about every game I've played Prime. The first thing he tries yeah. to do is establish that run game. Mm -hmm. So coming out... Now, like I said, I think Dan's more worried about Metcalf, but I don't think Prime's forcing it, obviously. There's another Taylor touchdown. Yeah, we are uh, starting to get ugly here in Indianapolis as uh, Dan is now down 14 points. The uh, favorite and the defending champion is getting kind of kind of taken out by the 16-time champ. Yeah, I don't think anybody really expected this. Maybe Prime expected it, but... Uh... I don't think anybody was really expecting this. Yeah, I'm, I'm personally amazed. It'd be nice to see what uh, some of the folks watching in the chat think about this game so far. I don't think anybody saw it going this way, but uh, maybe it's time that we stop uh, doubting Prime. Yeah, I'm, I'm really surprised that uh, Dan is, hasn't moved up to stop the run. He's still just sticking to his guns of, of trying to contain Metcalf. Well, that's the thing with uh, this in, in terms of how this Madden plays. It's a situation where... The majority of people want to pass, and if you can play somebody that wants to pass, you're going to get a lot of interceptions and turnovers and just a lot of stops that way. But Prime's not playing that sort of game right now. No, Prime's definitely just taking what Dan's defense is giving him, and it's lots of yards on the ground. <laughs> and Jonathan Taylor, he's going to, he might get a 100 by halftime. He almost has 100 now if he didn't start on his own side of the 50. But it looks Dan's like Dan's got some cooking back. right now, though. Yeah, it looks like Dan's going back to the ground game a little bit. 
But now, of course, as I say that, he's going to air it out. This was a safe play, though. You know, it, it wasn't like that first interception where he uh, gambled deep on uh, just what was can only be described as a bad read. This one, at least, he went through his reads yeah. and made the correct play. Yeah, I think he's going to have to play a little more conservative than, than maybe he wanted to to start the game. But Yeah, I mean, I think you have to. Um, never mind. <laughs> well, it looks like he can... Oh, that's incomplete. He's out of bounds. Oh, wow. They ruled that incomplete. That's interesting. That's a tough break for him. Yeah, I thought he had that dead to rights, but I uh, guess uh, two feet is required. Nice completion to Fant there. Yeah, there's what Dan's doing. He got it in a tight window just barely in time, and it uh, paid off. Needs more plays like that, making the right reads. Yeah, and if he can go down and, and get a score here, which that's going to take us to the second quarter, but if he can get a score, he's right back in it. Yeah, I think Prime got lucky there with that clock running out because that play looked like a big success from the play art. Yeah, this is this is a big drive for Dan. Coming right back to it. And Prime's all over the read. I like it. Yep. Prime covered that perfectly. And there was nothing yeah. for him. I think that was the exact same play Dan called before the uh, quarter ended, and I think it would have been a touchdown if the quarter did not end. But he was able to change up the play and make the play this time. All right, so Lavrette back to pass. Nothing there, and Prime's going to get to him. He's going to be dropped for a sack back at his own 49. Third and 17. If you're Dan, what do you call? Are you going for it? Are you playing it safe? I think at this at this point, I would probably probably push for it just because he hasn't had any luck stopping Prime. So Yeah, I think you got to get at least 15 so you can go for it here. And he's going to be stopped short. Yep. It's not bad. I'd have probably pushed for it because even if I throw an interception deep down the field, it's about the same as a punt. Yeah, it's just one of those things. He's not. He's already down two scores, and he's not going to be able to catch up with field goals. It's uh, especially if Prime can go back and score another touchdown here. I don't know, man. It's it's looking yeah. ugly early. He's going to need a stop, which hasn't been uh, something he's been able to do so far. But after watching that Super Bowl, you can't count them out until it's over. So, No, absolutely not. And I think uh, Prime's definitely prone to giving up points if, if you can get the right looks. But just really making some suspect calls right now. I think we can agree he needs to stop here, though. Yeah, he definitely needs to stop. Oh, and he was Ooh. right there with McCourty. The sub linebacker almost made him pay. That's that, uh, Devin McCourty, safety playing sub linebacker, and uh, Prime almost fed it right to him. That right there is a play I've I've, uh, I've seen Prime do a couple times against me. Is he'll just try to dump it off to that running back or the tight end right there, and if, if you're paying attention, you can sometimes jump it. But uh, even with McCourty, he wasn't able to. Yeah, uh, the one thing going in Prime's advantage is he's definitely making his reads. That was the right call there. Uh, most people want to go to the halfback angle, but Prime saw that the linebacker was there and threw the other guy. Now, this is big for Dan right here. He's got him in a third and five. Yeah, at the same time, Dan's playing, again, really questionably on defense, in my opinion. Um, a lot of soft zone, a lot of sitting back, not really making Prime think about things. Yeah. It's, it's interesting. What do you think about Dan's defense right now? I'm, I'm not a fan of it. Um, yeah. I'm surprised he's not not getting more pressure. Um, I don't I don't really like his defense because I think Prime is more than more than happy to just take the little yards underneath. He's gonna have to force him to do something here. There's our first Metcalf shot. There it is, and it's, it's picked off on the tip. It's McCourty. Probably not the guy and you, you saw to the, the interception. Ball right? hawk pop right on that pick. <laughs> This could be game changing for Dan. Prime was still, he was struggling a little bit, but he was starting to get back into the role again. He gambled and threw into triple coverage. Yeah, I think maybe he got a little too comfortable after he said he threw streaks, nothing but streaks to Metcalf in practice, and he came down with 70% of them. That may yeah. not be the same result when you get in a game. 
Never mind. Just yeah. like that. Oh. Hey, there's Darius Leonard. That's going to be six. There Dan goes, making the... He, this might be the worst passing game I've seen Dan play. I haven't seen all of Dan's games, but he has made almost exclusively poor decisions so far. Yeah, it hasn't it hasn't been uh, the quarterback's fault as far as bad throws. They've, they've been on target right to the uh, blue uniforms, though. We got uh, Super Bowl loser. It's the Foz in the house tuning in. Quick shout out to our Super Bowl loser. Well, Foz has seen this before, though, so I'm sure he's not ready to count Dan out either. Yeah, maybe uh, Dan needs to just channel the uh, Foz game and it'll work out okay. All right, here we are. You're, you're Dan. You're down 21-3 to three in the second quarter. What are you doing here, Bomber? I think at this point I'm, I'm trying trying my hardest to not not press. Um, down 21-3, to three, you know you need scores quick, but if you start pressing, that's when stuff starts to snowball. Unfortunately, I don't think Dan feels your same way because he was wanting to go deep. <laughs> yes, he was. Yeah, looks like he Seeing, may try uh, again. Yeah. I like this one a little bit better, though. Yep, and he's got him open if he can keep it in, and he does. Keeps his feet inbound down to the 35. If Jerry Judy did that earlier, we might see a little bit different of a ball game right now. Yeah, that was a big uh, big play that he wasn't able to keep his feet in. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and ten all the way down at the Dan's moving the ball. He needs to keep this going if we want any sort of uh, good game for this yeah, late this has night SML game touchdown. of the week. I think every drive has to end in a touchdown with Dan right now, to be honest with you. Yeah, he can't really <laughs> afford to take field goals. Uh. And that's, a, that's a nice play right there, the, the touch pass. Yep, the Madden 21 play of the... Uh, year yes, that jet touch pass man everybody runs it and it's good for at least 10 almost every time all right he's got calais and he's getting nothing stood up there by the one-handed man himself yeah i'm not one to talk i don't love that play call against that front let's give him a second and eight on the eight yard line so he can still still get a first down before scoring At this point, I think, uh, I mean, Prime's going to have a lot of time left on the clock. It's going to be interesting to see if he can combat whatever Dan gets here. I think he's playing for seven no matter what. So I think I think on that play, Dan might be starting out kind of outthink himself. He runs Calais, his tiny guy, up the middle, and then he runs El Elam to the outside. Yeah, Dan's really struggling. I think we've seen it from the uh, get-go. It's a situation yeah. where I, I think maybe he over-prepared. He could. I, I haven't seen him in chat much today, so it's definitely possible. We're up to 14 viewers in the chat. I appreciate you guys showing up this uh, late-night action. I think, too, starting off with a, his first offensive possession, he throws an interception on the first play. That That really has to get in your head. It's not just that, but it was such a, you know, year one of Madden Reed. You saw it coming yeah. from a mile away that Prime was there and the defender was going to be there. And Prime pulls him to it, a field goal again. I mean, points are points, but, I mean, it's getting dire right now. Obviously, there's still a lot of game left, but, man, Dan's not looking good. I haven't seen really anything positive right now. No, he's going to have to make some adjustments. I don't know. I don't know what, but uh, if he can get a stop here and maybe get the ball back, even if he can get. Yeah, I think you just got to take it down to the base, man. You got to start making plays, getting stops, and not getting gouged for six yards of run and whatever he wants to do through the air. Got NYT showing up. Good to see you there, brother. And there's Taylor again. Another big run. That's going to be a first down. Nine rushes, 72 yards, and two touchdowns for Jonathan Taylor through the first half. Not even through the first half. Yeah, and he's, he's down 15 right now. And I, I, Prime's just going to keep running it down his throat. And that time he gets and there, the there's a good stop, and that's one thing that I think yourself and everybody in the NBA seems to keep in mind is Prime is very quick on that juke move. Yes. It's almost immediate every time. 
So if you can stay patient and wait for it, you're going to stop him. Yeah, and I, I think, no, I don't know if he's got it switched because we don't have his stream. So I don't know if he's got conservative on, but if he gets hit in the middle of one of those jukes with a hit stick, that may be uh, increased chances for a fumble. So. Yeah, that's uh, some free NFC advice for all the AFC guys out there. Yeah. So we'll see uh, if Dan can... can this would be a big stop for Dan. If, if Dan can get a stop here, he might be able to push for some points from the path. Here it is. You've got to watch Taylor here. Oof. And he did. And he was able to get pressure on him. But oh. Bradley Chubb is injured. If that is a game injury or longer... The, the one thing Dan's doing well right now is getting pressure on the quarterback sometimes. If Chubb's out, that might take that level away. Yeah, and if I'm Dan, I'm not. I mean, obviously, I want to win every game, but I'm more concerned about getting Chubb back now than winning this game. Well, I mean, like, like I said in the pregame, if, if I'm either of these guys, I have to win. I don't want to do with the other person for 12 oh, weeks plus. Absolutely. You know? <laughs> yeah. It, it's obviously you can you can take it, but I just don't want to deal with that aspect. How do you if you're if you're Dan and you lose this game, how do you show your face in chat tomorrow? I, I don't know. As much as he talks, <laughs> I don't know. Putting out a he's a going video. deep. Oh yep. my gosh! And nope. It's gonna oh, not picked off though. Okay, that was a so that's big for him. I think Dan got a little bit greedy there. That one looked open, but his quarterback, I mean, obviously you saw through the air, the ball just ran out of gas. Yeah. From the 21, it's second and 10. Right, he's gonna that was, uh, That's another tough. Ooh. That was a nice play from Prime. I liked what I saw there. He uh, switched off his user and took away both the routes as he's supposed to. Um, he didn't prime himself, to be quite blatant, because that's what Prime does. He likes to run those concepts where he's got two guys coming, one clearing out and the other one uh, coming right behind. All right, big third down. Overall, this is a well-played game from Prime so far. Yeah, I'm actually more surprised with his defense than anything. Oh, yeah. I mean, people have said for a long time that Prime's user is really good, and I, I don't think it's bad or anything. I just think he's more, you know, above average instead of great. Oh, but, he um, just didn't get the reach animation to get him a first down. Yeah. It's not even in uh, go-for-it territory, unfortunately. He needs nope. about another uh, 14 yards. And now you're giving oh, Prime, Prime plenty of time. To get if you're Prime here, do you push it or do you just go to half? From the 43 where he's at right now, I push it for a field goal. I'm, I'm playing yeah. for three points right here. I'm not I'm not gambling too much downfield, but I'm going to try and get down there for a field goal. Yeah, three would be big. Put it to a three-score game. Yep. I think we can agree he's probably not uh, playing it safe right here. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> but he's got Paris Campbell and DK Metcalf. He can kind of... Oh, there's that, that fake jet sweep. But, uh, yeah, there's that play we've seen a lot from Prime lately. Yep. I mean, when your options are give it to a 95 speed wide receiver going around the end or a, a superstar running back that's not very slow himself, that's, that's a nice play to have. Yeah, he needs to figure out how to work one of those in where you also have the DK option over the top. Yeah. And there he goes. Check down to Taylor, and Taylor's going to get him into field goal range now. Wow. And he's going to take a timeout. So I would think from here, he's he's going to try for the touchdown. Uh, foolishly, it looks like it, yeah. Yeah, I Fun think prime. I might have I'm saved just, my timeout here. I'll take my I'm chances. running up the play. middle, taking my field goal, and going yeah. to half. But uh, Prime's definitely pushing. Did Dan yeah, give him a bounce there? I don't No, it's He stayed in. Oh, I guess he didn't. Look like he stayed in. Gave him out. Okay. I thought for sure he'd be out of in, in, inbounds there. Yeah, that may have been a lucky break for him right there. Oh, yeah. Let's see, that's a turning point. Wide. He finally got something in his... Uh... Yeah, it was five wide. He wasn't trying anything, though. Yeah, there. and he's gotten he Joku safe. on that little... Uh, that route that's pretty uncoverable. Unless he's got a really... Yeah, it's, it's weird seeing these this series of plays from Prime just because if you're... Not going to push the ball while you're taking the chances there. Yeah, I don't really understand that, but. And it looks like we've got a dime 
set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Not really sure what he's going to do here. Can't get tackled inbounds. Oh my gosh. And he throws it deep. <laughs> he's got no problem throwing into double coverage with DK Metcalf. Oh. You know, as big as this lead is being three scores after this field goal, if Prime's going to make decisions like that and try to let Dan get back in the game, this one's not over yet, folks. So keep tuned in for the second half. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little surprised by the uh, the sequence there at the end, but yeah, that was that was pretty. I, I don't know, man. I I don't agree with that decision, and I'm more than happy to throw picks. So yeah, but it looks like he's gonna walk out of the half with an 18 point lead, which he's got to be. Just uh, good news is Dan gets the ball. Actually, Dan, does Dan get the ball? It was uh, Prime got the ball for the leadoff. Yeah. yeah, Dan gets the ball. So he's got that going for him. Uh, this has got to be just a safe run to get to halftime. A little bit of fake razzle-dazzle, maybe. Yeah. That yeah, looks like he's going to throw it. Man. I don't... Forgive us for being you know a little what? bit flabbergasted, folks. Uh, probably going for the pass interference. We saw it twice last week, cost people the game. Prime being one of those yeah. people. I think he may have just been trying to get the pass interference there and getting field goal range. How do you feel about that? How do you feel about guys going out there and intentionally trying to get a PI? I, I'm not a fan of it. Um, I'd agree with you. It's a little bit uh, bush in my opinion, but uh, I guess it is what it is. Yeah, like, so I, I understand it on uh, the talk about Washington against Prime the other night. Makes sense. You're down one score. You're down three points. You're going to throw a Hail Mary. Um, here, four seconds left. You weren't you weren't even going to get to the end zone. You were clearly just going for the, the pass interference there. And he fumbles first play. Maybe a little bit of karma. <laughs> a little bit of uh, the, uh, karma, yeah. Going for the... Uh, Oh, man, I don't know what to think about this one now. Prime, uh, if he gets, I mean, any score, he's just... He's in a good spot right now. I think I'll leave it at that and see how the rest of this one plays out. See, now, Polly says you throw a deep four seconds left. I have never seen a Pauly's team a coach. from their own 25-yard line throw a Hail Mary at the end of a game or a half. They always throw it short four and seconds, try the yeah. laterals. And nobody's, nobody's throwing it 80 yards. I'm a little touchdown. disappointed in Coach Polly there because I, I, you know, our, our Massachusetts youth is being taught uh, a little bit of a sketchy choice there. All right, so it looks like Prime's going to continue moving the ball with no real issues, but Metcalf gets his first catch. Yeah, I think at this point, uh, you know, if Dan's going to make it this easy on you, then you might as well just keep trying to run it up. I jokingly there, said that. And another score for the Colts. I, I jokingly said that the Broncos were going to win by 45, but looks like Prime might try to win by 45 himself. Yeah, I'd say he's well on his way to 45. Um. <laughs> 31 to six, just just into the third quarter, and the Broncos started this quarter with the ball. This is uh, a nightmare for uh, Danny and the Broncos. Yeah, Dan's definitely not happy about the way this started, <laughs> and it's not. It's not really been fluky or anything. I mean, you could say maybe that strip fumble, but he was already yeah, well down before that. So, the one person that you can blame for this game is Dan He. He's yeah. not played well at all. No, definitely made some poor decisions, and it, it started with the first offensive play of the game for him. Well, he's still got time. Um, it's not looking good, but you still have an entire almost second half. Uh, yeah, there's still so, plenty of time, um, but things would so be a hell of a comeback. Drastically. He would need to make some plays, but I, I mean, it's not over yet. I'd like to give him a little bit of hope. No, definitely not yet. I could see him maybe getting getting a turnover on defense because that's going to be his problem: is getting a stop on defense. Even if you can score, you know, thirty more points, you still got to stop prime. 
Yeah, we're seeing a lot of the same with from Dan right now. It's a lot of the same reads and play arts, and uh, not not too much that's different. He's not giving Prime many different looks right now. You know, and I think Prime's at some point here. He's going to jump one of these routes. Oh yeah, and everything's just like that. Up. that Prime played it perfectly yeah. again. He uh, is just a different level than Dan so far tonight. And this is really a defense we haven't seen from Prime all season. Yeah, what do you think being a uh, division competitor if this is the prime we're going to see going forward? I think I've got a lot of tape to watch. But, uh, <laughs> which, which was the nice part about this game, too. It comes right before uh, me and Prime play. And, yeah, that might be good for you. I think Prime might be a little bit uh, exhausted after this one just from all the pomp and circumstance of it all. Oh, I don't think Prime gets tired of that at all. <laughs> Well, Dan's driving at least to see if he can uh, continue and not make another mistake. Yeah, and we've seen it so far this game. Uh, wow. Another fumble. Wow. And this one's going to be this is going to be the second defensive touchdown for Brian. All right, folks, I'm ready to call it. This one is going to be a Colts victory. I'm uh, ending this one right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dan's probably as good as anybody at coming back. But when you fumble twice in the first two minutes, two and a half minutes of the second half, it's it's just not going to be your night. Yeah, it's it's a product of his uh, play calling again. He's like we said, has been suspect from the start, and he's trying to go deep and get it all in one one play. You, you can't score a thirty six point touchdown, so yep, you know a thirty two point touchdown. So get what you can get. He's being a little bit too aggressive. It's really surprising. Yeah, and the way Prime's locking him down right now, he's, he's got to be just shaking his head trying to figure out what to do. And it's interesting there. That was I think he probably actually had Fant that time deep over top, but he took the check down this time around. Yeah, and at this point, he may even be just starting to get gun-shy of that over-the-top route. Oh, yeah. I mean, I think right now he's realistic. He knows that this one's probably over, so it's probably just about uh, putting together a couple drives and getting some momentum built for next week. Yeah, they're definitely... Uh, at what point do you think you start maybe even pulling your starters here? Um, if I'm prime, I'm not going to pull them at all because no, no, this is a statement uh, game for him. Yeah, but no. uh, if I'm Dan, uh, you know, might get the quarterback out. If I got somebody I'm, I'm interested in seeing, get him some, some game time. But with yeah. Chubb going down with injury earlier, it, it's it's definitely an option for sure. Yeah, it's it's definitely in the back of my mind at that point. It's about you're getting all the fumbles are going against you. You've already had an injury. He's going deep. <laughs> and he, ooh, <laughs> almost picked the again. Game. Just can't get anything going. No, and he had an easy first down. He just he took the deep throw. He's all out of sorts. It's this is uh, should give hope to everybody in the AFC West that you can do it too. Yeah, I mean, Danzig. Where's Judy again? Judy's having a really good game, and he's going to get something goes away this time with a face mask. Yeah, Judy's one of those guys that I, I, I don't think Dan's used to his full abilities yet, but if he can get him into the game plan a little bit more, it's going to be interesting. Yeah, I think if you're, uh, if you're future, maybe not so much Death Wish or, uh, or ZZ, but if you're future, you're definitely feeling pretty good about your chances in the AFC West. Nah, ZZ's got this too. I mean, ZZ's going to come out next time and just put up 47 on Dan. And yeah, I'm going to need to wins. see a win from ZZ first. <laughs> oh, man. This one's... No uh, now he's getting overthrow. Yeah, and this is one of those games where Prime's defense is just all going his way. Um, I'm not a big believer in, you know, programming this, that, and the other, but... You do occasionally see games where it doesn't matter what play calls open. If you're on offense, it doesn't seem like anything's getting free. And yep. it seems to be that way right now for Dan. It's just everything's locked down completely. Oh, we got Wood saying ZZ played Dan close this season. He did play him close. He didn't win. All right, and Dan's down to the three. Maybe he can get a touchdown here. And he's going to just... <laughs> do you even go for a touchdown? I mean, what difference is it going to make at this point? I, I think you go for it here. You have to. It just it, it'd be so deflating if you yeah. don't score. 
If you kick a field goal here, you're just admitting it's over. I mean, you don't have to admit it. It's just kind of yeah, fact. Well, it is over point. anyway, but. <laughs> well, he is going for it. That's uh, good to see. Let's see if he can get in. Hate the play call. <laughs> and Prime reads it perfectly. Yep, he did. And stops him not at the one, actually. Oh, he's down. in. Wow. So he, he ended up stopped short on a third down where he got the reach animation and it didn't give him the first. This time I felt like he got stopped short and he, he gets the animation. That was, that was interesting to see just because that should have been shut down. Nobody's going to argue oh, with yeah. that. He was all but over. Why, why would you make yourself play three yards back? Yeah. Why, why would you call that play call when it's uh, three to go and you're going to force yourself to be six to go? That doesn't make a lot of sense to me. All right, so that makes it 38-13. Still down 25. Just cracking the door open just a little bit. And Prime's going to go, go to the play action this time. Dan was all over it. Yeah, I think that was a little bit too obvious. Um, Dan is too good at Madden to fall for that right now. So that puts him at second and 23. Hey, maybe we can get things going now. If you can get a lucky fumble his way, then you know we can get it to 20 to 38, and then you're still only down three scores. Yeah. And here comes Prime's going to come out in a five wide. <laughs> Five wide, but Dan's calling my least favorite midfield defense. And it works for Oh, him. he had it, and he's got it. Thompson can get up the, and maybe uh, uh, move a little bit. Awful pick there, but, man, Dan needs to score and score fast. He's got a lot of work to do still. Yeah, and I'm thinking Prime's trying to get as many points in as he can before that fourth quarter, so he's coming out, coming out throwing, but... Yeah, that was, you know, Prime's playing better than Dan is, but he's still making his fair share of mistakes. Now, how much of that do you think, though, just has to do with him being up so much right now? Uh, I think a lot of it. He's, again, this is a statement game. Both these guys really wanted to win it from, from go, and one of them is going to. But uh, they don't only want to win it. They want to win it by a lot. They want to leave no question in anybody's mind who the superior player is. Well, I'd say right now it's definitely prime, but uh, Dan not giving up yet. Oh, yeah, but even after this game, Dan's got a lot to think about and, and study because this shouldn't be a 38-20 game. This should be much closer, and it, it's all self-inflicted. Yeah, there's definitely plenty of plenty of stuff he could clean up and it would be a much better game. And if he just subscribes to that Dookie uh, train of thought, he should be really confident after this loss. Oh, yeah, not a problem. Fix all the issues. Good to go. All right, 45 seconds left in the third quarter. Is Prime going for it? Is he going to put something up? I don't think so. I think he runs scoring position. He can keep scoring in the fourth, the current score. He almost breaks free there. Big run for Jonathan Taylor, and you, and you look at that yardage in the rush total. Early in the second, we were at nine rushes. Here we are almost in the fourth. He's only at 12. Yeah, he's... Uh, He's definitely trying to put as many points on Dan as he can. Oh, yeah. And Dan's worrying about that now, so he's playing soft, and yep. Prime's back to running right up through his uh, interior. And he's just going to let this run out to the fourth quarter. Here we are, start of the uh, fourth. 38-20, Colts lead. This isn't how anybody thought this would go, but uh, maybe the new old Prime is back. Yeah, this is not the uh, start or the uh, the outcome we expected. Except Polly's going to tell you this is exactly what he expected. Oh yeah, well Polly gave him all the tips and you know expected everything and you know, long live the goat. Prime's got to be running every down pretty much now, right? You want to get that clock over with? Yeah, I think uh, so. He's only up 18. He can still throw, but. I think I'd start running out a little bit of clock. And he's going to run out of bounds with his quarterback here. Takes a big hit. 
That was risky. That was so close to an unsportsmanlike penalty. I'm kind of actually surprised he didn't get the call. No, and that's going to make it fourth and three, so Prime's going to punt here. Yep, has to punt up way too much. Yard is too short. As the ageless Pierre Desir gets the tackle on the special teams. I almost tried to sign that guy this offseason. You got a soft spot in my heart for Pierre. He was big for the Colts back in uh, a couple years ago, so it's always good to see him do well. Paulie uh, chimes in. Prime one, Bushwhackers zero. How do you feel about that? I still don't really understand the Bushwhackers uh, reference. We talked about this. Yeah. It, it doesn't really make sense to me. He tries. To Paulie missed on that one. Tries to spin it as we're the bad guys, but Bushwhackers were never the bad guys. <laughs> All right, if Dan scores here, gets a touchdown, is this a game that's going to come down to the end? No, I don't think so. Still over. It's still. I think I mean, he's still looking at 18 points. I think if he can score quick in the next minute or so, you could kind of, you know, spin a theory to where he can come back. But Prime's going to be playing so soft, not letting him go over top. It's going to be hard to see it actually happen. Yeah, and the way Taylor's been running, I don't. Barring a fumble or something, I don't think. I don't think Stuff like that where Dan didn't get out of bounds, but Judy's going to play against him too. Yeah. <laughs> I believe I believe Paulie's exact words were the evil tag team. The evil tag team? Okay, just tag team. So he, he pulled Bushwhackers out of nowhere. Okay, that yeah. makes sense-ish. Got Dan kind of rolling right now offensively. Is it... Uh, he's... I think at this point, think I think Prime is just... He's just trying to stay... Stay away from giving Keep up him the big bounce. <laughs> yeah, you're just you're just trying to don't let him get one of those one play scores where he then has a lot more time to get the the rest of the points he needs. If you can make him run two or three minutes off the clock here, even if you give up yeah, seven, it's a win. Clock is the only thing that uh, is going against Prime right now. He just needs to keep that in his favor, and yeah. then everything else will play out itself. Now letting him get out of bounds like that is isn't ideal, but. <laughs> Well, if Dan can, he can only do that about five yards at a time. It's going to take a while yeah. to go five yards down the field. Yeah, with an 18-point lead, it's not that big of a deal. Dan trying the post and uh, just uh, got broken up once again. Yeah, kind of surprised Sutton didn't come up with that one. Yeah, so I, I think he had the other receiver open coming across uh, Sutton there. But, you know, it's a split-second read. you got to go with you. what you think. All right, picks up the first down. All right, no huddle again. Dan still looks like he's trying to come back. He's not giving up yet. But we just saw the flash there. Six rushes for Dan this entire game. Jeez. Well, he's been down quite a bit the entire game. Yeah. Too, so. so Raymond Calais goes out injured. And that kind of goes back to what we were just talking about, how he's, he's had a lot of breaks go against him, maybe. Mm-hmm. Be careful with those Good starters. thing is, he's got Bo Elam, so he's still got his technically starting halfback. Um, Bo Elam is a guy that missed some time last season with an injury. Yeah. And he's down to the two. Looks like Kalei is going to be okay, but he's going to be out the rest of this game. That's probably a blessing in disguise because I don't think you want to put him back in this game. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. All right. All right. And it looks like Elam's going to get in untouched. Do you go for two here, or do you just uh, go for one? I think you got to go for two, right? Yeah, I just go for two here. Make it a 10 point game. Still got a lot of work to do, but it's at least a possibility now. It's gone from no way to okay, maybe. Oh, and it looks like their stream has frozen. Hopefully we don't get it. a... Uh, there we go. And we're back. Leads now, 38-28. Colts in front. Colts about to get the ball back. No need to onside right now. But Dan needs to get a quick stop and get the ball back if he wants to have a chance here. All right. Looks like you're a little bit ahead of me. So I'm going to refresh the stream real quick. 
Yeah, I'll refresh with you. Maybe we're good. It's synced up here again. We're only on a uh, on a kickoff anyway. Three forty-two thirty-five. All right. All right. It's first ten on twenty-five. Just prime throw it at all this uh, drive. Oh, this is gonna get called back for a holding, but uh, that was a heck of a juke from Jonathan Taylor. Yes, it was. An illegal block, block in the back. back. Okay. Now you know that what? That one hurts even more. Now, if you look at the clock there, it it let all that time run off the clock, and it didn't put it back on. When Smart Dan pulled off then. all those guys, I might have just stood down there at the one yard line and let the clock keep <laughs> See how long it takes it to actually get tackled. Yep. Yeah. From the gun, it's Taylor. Ooh, he, I, I got a almost stripped him there. I'm a little interesting. It's a little interesting that uh, he's still leaving Devin McCourty in the game when it's obvious running situations. Yeah, he's like obviously he not, not up too there. concerned with. Uh, with having a, a safety playing in that linebacker spot. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay with the safety playing there. I just think in this spot, you got to have somebody that's actually going to make better tackles. Yeah, and I don't know what, what the rest of his roster looks like. Maybe he doesn't have anybody. It's possible. Or he may just want that speed in case, uh, in case Prime goes to the outside. This is a perfect spot for Dan, though. He's uh, barring something tragic. He's going to get the ball back with over two minutes to go. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. He's still need to a lot working in his order. A, uh, a screen pass to Taylor here. Yeah, it'd be good. Get the jet sweep touch pass going on. Nice safe completion. Yeah, I don't. I don't think he gets too crazy. They've hit at fifty percent. Three of six to this point. This is third and fourteen. And he's just gonna run a draw play. Right, to Taylor. And Taylor's almost gonna get it. He almost broke it. That was so close to being a heartbreaker for Dan. Here we go, though. Dan's getting the ball back. Two minutes, three timeouts left. Yeah. How much time does he have to? Quick. The problem is if he starts pressing. How much time does he need if he gets a touchdown to have a chance and make it happen? If he gets a touchdown, I, th I think he'd be good with a minute on the clock. Yeah. Um, as long as he still has his three timeouts. Yeah. Oh, we got around him. This return looks interesting. He did, and he'll go out near midfield. I almost this is as just good get as... him field goal range. Kick the field goal. And yeah, then... pump, you kick the ball off. Use your timeouts. Yep, use my timeouts. That means you need something that's a corner route, something going out of bounds. Yep. Get in range, kick it quick, and then play the best defense of your life. Yep, I'd call a play here that's got one one shot at a touchdown and then maybe two guys just getting me in field goal range. And that was not, Oof. not the guy you wanted to throw to. I think that was a pass that was intended for the tight ends. I can't tell if it was going on the corner or the, the seam route. It looked like the seam either route. Way, that was, again, I mean, Dan has played better in the second half. But that was a terrible read. You know where Prime's user is. It's not far off both the, the corner route and that scene route. It's too risky throwing that pass there. Yeah, and now he's going to have some trouble because now he's going to have to use his timeouts, and then he's going to have to get the ball back score, and, and he's going to need an onside kick. He's going to need some Memorial Day miracle shenanigans to have a chance here. Now, and that's you, after converting everything. What do you, what do you think about switching your... Uh, tackling to aggressive here I, I think at this point in time you have to use anything you can if I can get a nonsensical fumble I'm going to go for it because I don't have much else in my favor I need 10 points and I need it yesterday so whatever I can use to hopefully get me an advantage is, is fair play but do you think that advantage is worth the the chance of a, uh, a game ending basically face mask um, I think it is in this Ooh. spot just because the game's probably over anyway, so your downside's kind of limited in that regard. Okay. What do you think about that play call right there, trying to throw it on third down? Got to keep the clock running. Prime knows he's, he's feeling safe, but, I mean, he keeps leaving the door open just a little bit. Yeah, you would think after uh, all the miracles that have gone against Prime. <laughs> it, uh, yeah. Take yeah, the safe route there. Get him to burn his last time out. This game's probably over, but it's, you know, the fact that it's close is 
good for Dan. He was able to kind of come back a little bit, make it an actual not laugher, and he can feel a little confident in this one because if he cuts out those mistakes, I think he, he, he might even be lead, leading this game right now. Yeah, I, I wonder how much of that, though, uh, the second half was due to Prime being up by so much as well. And, it it and definitely yeah. was, but at the same time, I mean, Prime could have avoided all of that by just playing more traditional and not trying to you know, rub Dan's face in it. Oh. So you can see it both ways, but I think this is a game that if you're Dan, you, you know that you, you lost this one because of your own fault, and you know that you can clean that up moving forward. Yeah, I don't think he's going to feel as bad about this game as as the score earlier might have indicated. Yeah, and I should clarify just because I know, you know, Prime's going to listen back to this uh, commentary. <laughs> Prime's defense has been spectacular the entire game. We can't really say anything about that. It's probably the best user defense game I've seen him play maybe ever. And Dan's had to earn every yard that he's got. But Dan's mistakes have been the big thing on this game for me. Yeah, it's, it's definitely killed him right off the bat. Like I said, first, first play of his uh, first offensive possession, he throws an interception. Yeah. Just making bad reads. I mean, Dan's going to go to bed feel a little bit upset about this one because he knows that it's one of those that just got away but yep. you know at the end of the day prime earned it and he's going to be able to you know to remind dan of it daily for the next 12 weeks plus depending on when they meet again in the future of the season and dan's just gonna have to throw it away on third and one and he gets another injury yeah this one's not too big of a deal justin pew veteran offensive guard he'll be okay if that one's any length of time but Dan was waiting for that halfback to break out and he just never did there on nope. the uh, rollout. Did Prime get a stop? Nope, he gets the first down. Oh, he got the first down. That looked like a good stop there. It did. There was no animation two, there. The two guys in the league for inside zone. Watch Prime Time and watch Lawyer Killer. Those guys run it more than anybody I, I, I faced. Speaking of Lawyer Killer, he's in chat asking if there's any post-game interviews. Uh, we don't actually have any scheduled for this game. Ah, the warrior. There's my boy. Yeah, I think Prime after this game is going to go uh, drink the rest of his chocolate milk and go to bed knowing that he's got work tomorrow, probably in like four hours. And Judy gets his feet but, in. Boy, that's timely, right? You can look back <laughs> yeah. to the first quarter and be like, man, where was that then? Polly saying Prime would come on. Oh, I don't doubt for a second. Prime would come on. <laughs> Yeah, this is the best time to come on. You get to gloat a little bit. Dan should be kicking a field goal here, right? I mean, I I don't the, know why he's not, other than maybe just to. to he's going for the closer. stats at this point in time, but it, it should be the field goal. He, he's not giving himself a chance right well, now. I don't, I don't know because he even if he gets the uh, the onside kick, I don't know if he would have enough time to go all the way down the field for a touchdown. Maybe not. Maybe I mean. So maybe here you. You're already down here. This is as close as you're going to get to a touchdown. You might as well go for it. I, I can see that. Needs to get it now, though, because the box really yeah. getting low. Now, with no timeouts, you have to get it pretty quick. I don't think this is going to be it either. Well, it may be a touchdown. But <laughs> no, and he's going to get the game ceiling interception. Pierre Desir, veteran cornerback, oh. Holt great for two seasons until he was cut. Back with the Colts in the SML, and Prime gets to take the winning formation. Yep, that's going to do with it. Frank He's George. Take a knee here. What are your main thoughts here, Bomber? You want to wrap it up on the game summary? Uh, the big takeaway for me from this game was uh, was Prime's defense. His defense had been had a really rough time, let's say, and. Uh, it looked really good, especially in the first half of this game. If he can play that defense with the offense that he's got, I think he's going to be all right. Yeah, good news is you get a first-hand experience next week, so uh, you can give us some feedback on, on how it is. Yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, our, what, seventh seventh matchup of the cycle in only Season 3. So. Yeah, but it's uh, it's good. You know, iron sharpens iron. You've uh, improved a lot because of it, I'm sure. And uh, this is this game serves as an example to everybody that you know Prime, while he's down, he's never out. Uh, despite Dan winning the Super Bowl last season, uh, you know your, your champion looked pretty bad this game. Um, yeah, it came riddled with errors. Uh, the SML has a lot of competition. Everybody can be everybody for the most part, 
and this is a good example of that because you know this is this went how nobody expected for the you know the majority expected dan to win this game and it really wasn't that close yeah i don't think the gap in the sml between the, the good teams and and the bottom of the league are is as big as people may think. Um, you're only a couple bad plays away from losing to anybody. So, yeah, and you almost see anybody. There that KJ's is... still in the league, so maybe not anybody. But. <laughs> uh, and there, there's the story of the game: turnovers and Emery Leveret threw 44 passes this game. It's yeah. really hard to win a football game when you're throwing that many times. Yeah, that can't be what uh, what Dan wanted to see on his stat line when. When he came into this game, hey, it was good calling this one with you, Bomber. Anything yeah, you else too. We head out. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'll get a couple more big games in before this season's over. But I think that's going to do it for us for tonight. And I think I already lost Mike. I'm here, brother. Oh, I'm just letting you sign it off. <laughs> All right. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching, and uh, until. Till the next game of the week. Uh, this is Mad Bomber here with Mike, and you guys have a good night. We'll see y'all soon.